Hey everybody, and welcome to another Interstellar Modeler. Well, in this video, I'm going to venture into something a little different as I build my first mechanized armor kit. All right, so what you see here is a uh, kit that my daughter brought me from Japan. Um, it's based on an anime series called Fang of the Sun Dugram. Uh, the show was produced in the early 80s, and it follows a group of guerrilla freedom fighters, and they're fighting for independence uh, of a human colony on a planet called Deloyer. Now, this kit is a replica of the Round Facer mech armor suit. It's used by the government and the Earth Federation. No doubt it's named after this domed area that the pilot sits in. Now, mechanized armor and Gundams, as you know, are a whole different category of sci-fi model kits that you can get into. I don't intend to really venture into them, but uh, my daughter gave me this kit, and it just gives me an opportunity to just try something different. Mechanized armor and Gundams often have a separate category uh, to themselves at model shows, and I've seen some excellent uh, bills that have been nicely detailed and weathered. Now, with regard to weathering, this is going to give me an opportunity to try something different here. Uh, this came recommended by a model builder named Mark Dunham and he does excellent jobs at building these types of, of kits and he recommended uh, some weathering uh, products by a company called Ammo by someone named Mig Jimenez. So what I'm showing you is just their website. You can see they produce different types of solutions and fluids that you can use to weather your model. Uh, I ordered a kit that will come with three different solutions and it is designed for uh, kits that you want to essentially give the look that you would have from exposure to a desert environment. Since the series takes place on a desert, I figured that'd be a good kit to have. So I wasn't even aware that these solutions existed, and no doubt if you build armor kits you're familiar with them, uh, but it sure gives me an opportunity to try something different uh, with regard to weathering. So I look forward to trying it out. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the kit. The instructions are all in Japanese, but the illustrations uh, look pretty easy to follow. Uh, looking at the actual pieces, the detailing looks pretty good. Doesn't seem to be a lot to the kit, considering the models I've built lately. There doesn't seem to be a lot of parts here. And the model kit also comes with a small decal sheet. And bear in mind, this is an older model kit, so um, I have to see how this will go. I may have to use some restoring solutions here for the decal sheet. And the last piece to show you is the dome that uh, looks a bit yellow here. Uh, I may darken that up a bit with Tamiya Smoke. I just haven't decided on that yet. All right, well, that pretty much does it for now. Uh, I just wanted to give you a brief preview of this upcoming project. The other thing I have to still decide on is the base. I'll have to give that some thought as well. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to contact me here on my YouTube channel or at InnerStarTheModeler at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you then in part one. Take care. <laughs>